evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you for joining the selectmen on March 7th, 2016. Would everyone please join us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. have no announcements tonight uh, so we'll move right on to approval of minutes and warrants we have minutes of February 16th 2016 at 6 p.m. make a motion to approve to uh, February 16th at 6 p.m. oh wait a minute I can't I think I was there you were here yeah you were oh, here okay. yeah. We arrive towards the end of the meeting. Yep. That's right. Yeah. So I'll make the motion. Okay. Second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Second, we have February 16th, 2016 at 7 p.m. Second motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 And next we have February 29th, 2016 at 6 p.m. John Laura will arrive late and Bob Baker was absent. Motion to approve the minutes so of February 29th at 6 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Invited guests and speakers, Paul Blaine from the call. Yeah, I was never able to confirm. Um, he was okay. up in the air as to whether he would attend or not. I figured I'd just be safe and put him on there. But um, well, I if guess he comes he... in late, we'll we'll take him. That's all. And I do have warrants this evening as well. Okay. Yeah, I skipped that. Sorry. <laughs> just trying trying to save some money. <laughs> um, this is the payroll warrant um, dated the period ending March 5th in the amount of $36,185.44. And the vendor warrant dated March 7th, 2016 in the amount of $67,097.06. That's a little bit high, yes? Usually we're around 35, 40. <coughs> Excuse me. Is there any big item or just lots of little? trash okay. collection is on here that bumped it up quite a bit yeah. and there was also an EMPG grant which was paid out of here but that came out of grant funds okay um, also the recycling is on here wheel of Raider. all right all right thank you <clears throat> all right. uh, we have is that it for warrants yep that's it okay. we Joe. John second. Motion to approve is read. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, so invited guests and speakers will hold on for the time being. Boards, committees, department heads, centennial celebration. 
Uh, fireworks con display contract. The contract has been received. Do we send you over the new one, Helen, for the attorney? They're including Millville into their um, insurance. That was a big. That was a big thing that yeah. came up. The only problem is, is we have a second proposal. We have to have three written, so yep. we don't have a third. All right. Um, we've been, so we're just trying to elicit that third proposal. So I am going to ask that either that Roland can sign it, or you know, based on attorney or the centennial, or do you want to wait till the next meeting? So we have our second one came in, um, but the third one keeps kind of asking questions. Yeah. <laughs> which which is fine. Um, so we're not ready to send one over just yet, All right. but um, we have to do that sooner than later. Right. And the so attorney did look at the, the, the company that we've worked with the closely with all of the, the, prop, the concerns. So the lawyer gave us some feedback and we gave that back to the firework companies, okay. what we needed. So do we want a motion to uh, accept my signature pending legal approval? In Centennial, we're meeting tomorrow night, so I'm hoping that they'll and vote. The will make their final vote tomorrow night. So that way, yeah, you can just call me and uh, meet you somewhere. Mm -hmm. or whatever. Yeah, it will be him. Yeah. So, so I make a motion pending a Centennial vote and lawyer approval to sign the firework contract. Second that. <clears throat> All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Thank you. You're welcome. That was it for Centennial? There's probably a hundred things, but yeah, tonight that would be fun. <laughs> no, I mean, the Centennial, I mean, we are, we are two months away. Um, our parade committee um, is working hard. Um, <coughs> diligent me. group of people there. I will give them that. Um, and, you know, we're working on the 5K, which will happen shortly after that. Actually, registration has opened up online for people to register um, for the 5K, and it will take up to 200 people. So after that, they there is no other registrations. So, I mean, we're, we're plugging along. It looks good. Our state money came in. Good. Um, the first 50%, our next 25% should be coming in shortly. So we're very happy and gracious for that money of 10,000. Um, so now we've just got to spend it before June 30th, which we won't have a that problem. That won't be hard to do. We won't have a problem. We'll take care of that. So that's it. Nope, that's Excellent. all. Good. Good news. Um, next, we have public forum citizen comments. Uh, we have uh, correspondence. Uh, just kind of an early thing. I I got an email today from the um, Biking for AIDS people that come through every September with asking our um, permission and they also forwarded the email to Chief Landry so I forwarded it to Helen so um, we can send them the, put that on another agenda to sign sign their uh, request form and get it back to them that was all I had this week um, next, we have appointments and resignations um, for uh, Council on Aging. We have one, one appointment. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Before you get to that, um, did you want to address the um, memorandum regarding overspending the snow and ice? Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, yeah. So, uh, wow, I'm all money. So, easy season. Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. <laughs> that's a lot of money for having no bad. Well, must have had a lot of ice. Two snow days. Right. Yeah, in regards to school wise. Was there a lot of sanding, though, for like black ice? Or, do you know? I didn't see them out a lot. That's why I'm asking. Do we get any, did you? Uh, we get any slips or anything? Yeah, they fill out. Well, back in the day, <laughs> when <laughs> I used to help highway, yeah, the um, they they actually punch in 
Do they have a time clock at the, they don't, they just handwrite? They used to do it at dispatch. So I'm, I've got to just update myself, but they do hand in time slips with the, the truck drivers and their hours. I saw Brian's truck out there, you want to try to find him? I think they're at the fire station. Oh. Um, so they do hand in those, so there are, because they have to tally it all up. So there is paperwork that comes in from Northeast Recycling as to the hours. Yeah, I mean, because it wouldn't be processed if it wasn't. I just wonder if Helen sees anything where it could justify this number or kind of keeps a little track on it or Brian keeps yeah, the paperwork I, or anything. I don't justify. see anything, but I can let you know that I do know that the highway surveyor does look closely at these because he's given specific instruction to the secretary not to process any invoices until he's reviewed them. So I do know that, that Brian is looking through them. But you haven't seen it. I don't know. They I usually, wouldn't they be attached to the, um, the voucher? I mean, you have to submit your bills and everything, so they right, must be. Right, but he doesn't even want Chrissy processing them through the voucher system until he's looked them over right. himself. So but he they must would be, be attached to the voucher that yes. goes yes. through the. We would see it in. Well, that's the warrant. You'd have to you'd have to ask to see the vouchers with the accountant. So when you hand it in, it says the bill, pay John Laura five thousand yeah. dollars. And then attached is the bill and the receipt. I understand. I understand that, John. So wonder if how the accountant has that those. Going. No, I don't see any of that. The accountant would. Well, maybe we ought to have Lisa, because she takes the numbers, right, and pays the bills? She no, the town that. accountant does that. Well, maybe the town accountant ought to send us a spreadsheet on what we get for s snow and ice and, <clears throat> and the bills so we all see it. And so when we see something like this, you know, we have an A and B. Right now, I got it. An A, but I got nothing to go against this. Just hearsay. What do you think? Would anybody like to see this? I mean, considering we put, what is it? We put 30 or 80? 80 now? Oh, God. We went up 30,000. Well, it used see, to be 50, went up to 80. Right. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying this, so Jeff. Well, like yeah, I mean, we could definitely have like the line item sent to us, but I'm wondering if, like, if they ran low on ice, not ice. Salt and sand, salt and right. sand. they would have had a that. delivery and that would have thrown us over. Yeah, but we don't, like I said, we don't know, we don't know what's going on. I, I'd like to know what's going on. I mean, we put X amount of dollars in there, I mean, the finance committee, and all of a sudden, you got an expenditure of 32,000, oh, I, and I want to know why. And we have nothing here. Well, I think if during the winter months, we just maybe make a, an item of what the, what the balance is for sand, ice, and snow removal budget. Yeah. That wouldn't be a bad thing to have on hand during the winter months so that we can see if we got the, building or dwindling. Right. Well, if we got, say, say the month of December, we had four storms. I'd like to see four tickets on which each storm caught. I mean, then it's gonna justify. I think we have that information. It's just a matter, of, the accountant has it, just a matter of compiling it. Right, and I'd, I'd like to see it. Make sure, uh, all the ducks are in a row, not just say, okay, here it is, and the only person that sees it is the accountant, and we don't see it at all. As a selectman, I want to see it because I have to approve an overspendage mm -hmm. like we all do. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I don't like doing this without seeing something to back it up. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you guys feel about it? Right. So we table it. Mr. Laura, is that a motion um, to Ask the town accountant to compile that. Yes, it is. Yeah, second that. Circle. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. And sorry, there is another correspondence. The one about the planning board. Um, you're telling Mr. Cocoli, is that how you say yeah. it? Yes. That he needs to fill out a full application if he intends us to even consider not tying into our hydrant system. Um, but I think my personal opinion would be it'd be a mistake to let him not do it. <coughs> it would be a disservice to the town. Because if he builds if he builds a hydrant system, uh, a self-contained uh, hydrant system for his development on Thayer Street, now the next development up the road, if one should come up, 
will be beyond that uh, minimum footage, then they would, wouldn't have to do it either. So now we have no hydrant system to connect lower, uh, upper Chestnut Hill with, with Lincoln. Now it would, that's where then if the town would have to do it, now we gotta come up with the money to come bring a three mile long. You know, so the, the town bylaw, it's a planning board bylaw to, to tie into the hydrant system if you're within the, the uh, what is it, three quarters of a mile, Paul? It's 3,000 feet. 3,000 feet, so a little over half a mile. As the crow flies. As the crow flies. So even though the road is over a half a mile, mm -hmm. I mean, almost a mile, the, the bylaw is 3,000 feet as the crow flies, and he's within the 3,000 foot mile. Builds a tank system after he's gone. Yeah. And then we have to maintain tank system, and we already have the one at the school that's a money pit. <laughs> so. Right. So. That's, that's all. I just I support the planning board on not accepting his board? request. Yeah, you can walk right through here, out the store, and upstairs. All right, so that's it for that, um, for correspondence. Next is uh, the Council on Aging. Uh, as soon as I find that one. Yeah. I'll, take, I'll take your copy. Thank you. Uh, we have council, the Millville Council on Aging submits for your approval the name of Susan Bird of 112 Central Street, who, who would fill one of, the, uh, one of our alternate council member positions. The COA met with Ms. Bird at our February 10th meeting and agreed that she is an acceptable candidate for our third alternate position. Sincerely, Judy Monroe, Secretary, Millville Council on Aging. So. Mr. Chairman, I would only ask that the motion include pending Corey check because this is a member of the Council on Aging. That okay. is a requirement. Pending Corey check and it's through? 630-16. 630-16. So is there a, a motion to accept Ms. Bird's? So moved. Second that. Second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 And thank you very much for Stepping up. Yep, there it is. I just found it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Helen, Executive Secretary. Um, mainly tonight, I just have a couple of meetings I need to um, schedule with you all. Mm -hmm. um, I have a bunch of ongoing things that I do have planned um, to present on my report at the next meeting, though. So I will forewarn you that it probably won't be quick at okay. the next meeting. All right. Um, the Finance Committee has just about met with all of the board's appointed um, boards and committees and department heads um, for the budgets. Uh, for FY17. Um, so I think now would be a good time to schedule um, the Board of Selectmen to meet and go over all that your departments have presented to the Finance Committee. Mm -hmm. um, the date I was looking at is, is either Monday the 21st before the next regular meeting or Tuesday the 22nd. Um, we wouldn't be able to do Wednesday because we've got um, finance committee meeting that night um, so that again would be just for the board of selectmen to review your direct reports budgets and to make some determinations based on questions I've been taking notes at the finance committee meetings okay finance has questioned questioned a few things for each of the departments so I need to go over that with you um, and then the next meeting we would need to schedule is um, a joint meeting between the FinCom Selectman and the town moderator to go over the warrant. Okay. Specifically, Mr. Davis wants to um, be involved in the order of the articles. Right. So that I'm looking at um, either April 6th or April 13th. Okay. Um, 
And then lastly, um, I'd like to schedule a joint meeting, a final joint meeting with the Selectmen and the Finance Committee um, right before their public hearing to make any final determinations on budget cuts or you know, where things are gonna be funded from. Mm -hmm. So those are those three. Um, additionally, I'm told that a piece of correspondence arrived today um, that will require the board to call an executive se session. Um, so I'd like a date um, and time for that. I'd like to clarify with town council under which executive session exemption we'll be using because there are a couple that it could fall under. Um, so I can certainly get that back to you. But if you could at least give me a date and time, I can at least get that posted. Okay. Is that executive session based on um, just current information um, received or is this a different topic? Nope, this is the same topic we discussed earlier um, okay. in connection with the letter um, that Mr. Okay. Barrett received as well. All right. I I personally feel that we need to do that sooner than later. Mm -hmm. I think inaction is not going to be in our best interest. So I'm good at 48 hour notice. Yeah. Okay. Whenever that needs to be. Can I make, make the motion for 48 hours? I, yeah, I make the motion to meet um, for that topic based on the lawyer's recommendation, whatever they, with a 48 hour notice. Um. I'll second that. Mm -hmm. All in favor. So we'll set the date once the lawyer gives us. Yeah, what, what we need to do, okay. yeah. Whether it's open, executive, whatever. Yep. All right. And then, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, so back to Yep. Um, so the first one was either the 21st or the 22nd, and that's to go over the budgets with you. What time are we talking? It's up to the board. If you did it on the 21st, you could try to do it at 6. I'm just afraid one hour won't be long enough, mm -hmm. which is why I also put the Tuesday as a possibility. Mm -hmm. I know Tuesday isn't good for all of you, but... It has to be Monday for you? Unless we just commit to being here. I mean... We might have to be here after our meeting, close it out, and then go yeah. back to our budget piece. Okay. Yeah. We'll because I don't it. think we should do our budget piece into the seven o'clock because people are waiting at home. It's on. Yeah. You know, I, I think suspend sure, it and that. then pick up at the end. And if we're here to eleven, if we're whatever time we have to be here and get those done, yep. I can make that commitment. Okay. So we'll start at six. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was something that came up at the last finance committee meeting in terms of uh, <coughs> providing <laughs> guidance. Uh, relative to the uh, possible increases in salary to deal with the uh, the um, issues with the DLS report mm -hmm. and uh, I, I strongly feel that uh, the board should meet with the in those individuals to, to identify the tasks that need to be done in a, uh, a possible time frame uh, could that be accomplished? Yep. They have been um, asked to provide something in writing and get that to me by the 17th. If you'd like, I can ask them to come in that night as well. Okay. If they can't make it, at least have a pretty good detailed uh, yep. description of why mm -hmm. to justify extra time. And then the next meeting was to um, meet with the finance committee and the town moderator to discuss the order of the articles. Um, and I've got that um, either Wednesday the 6th or Wednesday the 13th. Um, the only problem with the 6th is um, the finance committee has requested the highway surveyor come in that evening. So if he does come in, um, the first half hour may be taken up with him. So you may not be able to start until 6.30. Um, but they have nothing scheduled yet for the 13th if you want to start right at 6. Either of those dates are fine with me. Yeah, either one. I think the 6th, sooner, sooner than later, is probably better. And they're both Wednesdays, so... 
Did you want to put that for six or six thirty? On the on the sixth, mm -hmm. that's the one that the, the highway, highway might is be also. there. Yeah, we'll put it for six thirty. I guess hours. Um, on April sixth. Are we at that time going? And then to be April fifth, we have a regular meeting. Correct. Correct. Right. Seven o'clock, April fifth, and April sixth, six thirty. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um, at that meeting, will we be making our motions for the articles? Um, sure, you can do it at that meeting. I'm just wondering if we're meeting again once more to go over budgetary. I'm just right. that probably would make the most sense because you're scheduled to sign the warrant on Tuesday the 19th. Yeah. So unless I mean. <clears throat> I would say majority of your motions are going to be on the 6th. Okay. And then any last minute changes, um, you could certainly do on the 19th. Okay. And then the last meeting I'm proposing would be Thursday, um, not Thursday, um, I'm sorry, Wednesday the 13th. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Wednesday the 27th would be the joint meeting with the um, Board of Selectmen and the Finance Committee. Um, is the last review of the budget at six o'clock. It's Wednesday the 27th. Fine with me. Works for me. And that is it. I will get back to all of you when I um, get a determination from town council on that first meeting. Six and April twenty seventh mm -hmm. at six p.m. Six p.m. and then March twenty first at six p.m. Okay. Good. Twenty first at six. Mm -hmm. uh, That's a regular Monday meeting. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, right? Mm -hmm. Well, one of them is two pending the. Or whatever. You know, one day we don't know. That's it. Okay. Right. It's all. Um, old business. None posted, but. Um, I just have a question. Mm -hmm. I was doing some reading over the weekend. <clears throat> Fun reading. Going through the BMR school district's minutes because I've can't endure the videos <laughs> they're just too long on some things but at their 28th meeting they stated that they're working with the board of selectmen in millville to get some punch list items taken care of in regards to the roof project and i know nothing of that nor do i um, Neither. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing i could think of was questions we had raised probably at least a year ago if not more <clears throat> about the air conditioner units mm -hmm. not being included in the two and a half exemption January 28th at that meeting. It was in the superintendent's report. So could we make sure that there are no issues? I mean, if we're yeah. bonded, warranted, whatever we are, and there is items that need to be, I'd like to know what they are. Yeah. I know that when the superintendent came in, it might have even been a year ago when he presented his budget, he did mention that they hadn't finished on time because there were some issues. But my understanding was they were gonna be resolved during the summer. Yeah. So, okay, but I will check. Yeah, like there. I said, it's just in their minutes. And okay. I didn't have any idea what they were talking about. So I just thought we could get some follow up on that. Sure. And they'll be here on the 27th? Correct. Um, Did actually, you schedule it? Um, no, it's the 30th. 30th? He's here for the Finance Committee on the 30th. Yep, yeah, March 30th. Because he's asked me at Community Reader Day when he could meet with us. And I said to call and get on the warrant. Okay. Um, he said that he was meeting with the FANCOM and would, wouldn't mind coming to see us also. So. Is that at the 30th, is that 6, 7? Six. Uh, BVT is at 6 and BMR is at 7. Okay. Uh, 
That was it. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Okay, new business. We have police policy. Um, administration of nasal naloxone. That's the uh, that's the uh, overdose reversing drug. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. And that's the one that makes the drug addicts think that they can just keep yeah. overdosing and just get recovered again. Um. So. <laughs> I just didn't know where this came from. Was it um, a legal advisory that came through with a, a standard form that most communities are using? Is this something that came from a neighboring department? Is it has it been through legal? Is it? I think this is you know there's heavy duty stuff in here. Um, I, I thought I heard that there was uh, an initiative uh, from Sister Town Uxbridge of a regionalization kind of thing mm-hmm. on this issue, but I didn't pay much attention to it at the time. Yeah, I mean, because they, they he has mass general laws, and I know a lot of times they'll send us things from um, legal or, you know, their union or their police chiefs that will put out things that say this is kind of a standard form. It just, he doesn't say it says adopted from Massachusetts Police Accreditation Standards, but page, uh, oh. no, there is no page on this. But. Okay, no, that's fine. I, and but. to be honest, I started reading this and I was like, I, I could be reading Greek. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> I can try to understand it, but I just want to make sure that it's legally it, it fits what we need or what the department needs to effectively. I mean, we see it on the news every night. Pluses and minuses of it, you know. I mean, it's one of those things that's hard to. 20 one year old and a 30 uh, year old in my t- hometown uh, died last week. Yeah. And then there was a young lady in her early 30s. She didn't, they, they gave her three shots of that. Yeah. And it didn't work or did? She survived. So that's the plus of it. Yeah. Let's see, but, but that was in one week. Um, in one town. Just, just for the board's information, each year when we renew our liability insurance policy, they ask us for copies of any newly adopted procedures from the year. Um, so as an example, this would be sent to our insurance company in July. So um, if there were any issues, we'll hear about it certainly at that point. Right. Okay. Hmm. Hate to, I'd hate to deny anybody the chance of their life being saved. <laughs> mm-hmm. But there's so, there's so many negatives about it, too, right now. But we want to hear, uh, have an overview presented by the police chief. I, would, okay. I, I think that would, if he, if he could give us some more, you know, his input on I suspect that this is a could be uh, involved regionally as well. Mm-hmm. Like to get that, like to hear that side of it. Yeah, I mean, also it's. And who administers the? It would be on the police. They'd be trained. And I think too, it was sent to the union. So I'd like to make sure that the union is on board with it. I'm not here. I, I think they should carry it. I'm not here to criticize or judge. And yep. You know, addiction is, is a horrible, nasty thing and until you walk through it with somebody. Right. Um, no, it's easy to judge, and that's not the purpose. The purpose is just to make sure that this is legal. It comes from, you know, documentation and a format. I mean, he said it came from the police chiefs, whatever. So um, I don't have a problem. I just want to make sure it's appropriate and legal. That's yep. my only concern. 
and that the union is fine with carrying it because they are going to be administering it. Exactly. So. That, uh, yeah, the form is the form of legal. Yeah, well, I'm sure it is. I'm sure he, the chief typically does his due diligence sure. in making sure it is, but I like that confirmation. Okay. Uh, okay, and then we have a uh, 2015 annual town report uh, approval. I have started it. I have not finished it. Okay. Um, so I would not be ready. I mean, I could send over. It looks good. Or if I saw any typos or things, mm -hmm. I don't mind doing that. Um, I can get through it. Then the next day, I put the first part and need to read the, the second part. So I totally missed the link. <laughs> well, there were, there were two additional emails in addition to the one you got with your packet. Um, and there was a part one and a part two. Yeah. You're on the link. Did you get that? Part one and part two? The electronic version of the report? No. It, it gets buried because I'm getting junk mail. Uh -huh. A lot of my emails are getting buried because somebody sold my email somewhere. <laughs> um, well, I, I have to go back and look for it. Well, what oh, yeah. I had tried to do, if you remember in the past, the board would vote to have one member just take the hard copy and, and go through it. I yep. tried to get all of you involved this year, so I right. sent it ele electronically so did it, to you. It, it came after this packet? Yeah, there should have been three email, emails right in a row, pretty much, when I sent um, your packet out last Thursday. Um, I'll look. It came from you, though? Yes. Oh, all right. Not the town clerk. Okay. So. No, no, please. All right. Yep, they no, were because they labeled part <laughs> one and part two. So. Yeah, all right. All right. That's, I'll look again. I didn't see it, but I'll look again. Only because time is of the essence, then, um, if you weren't able to do it that way, did you want to go back to the way we've done it in the past and have one member go through it? Because I've really got to get it to the printer, and we've cut it really close last year, so I had to wait too, too much longer. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I'm okay with that. Whoever wants to, mm -hmm. breeze, wants to breeze through and just send it down, I'm okay with that. No, either way, I mean, anybody want to? breeze through I don't care I'll go home I'll look that up when I go home tonight and start breezing through it but you want to you want to do it Jennifer or you want to that the old way you want I've got half of it done you do? so I can get through it um, and the only thing I would need to, to know um, as I put in the memo is the Assistant town clerk submitted a report for all the work that she had done do, during the year. Okay. Um, and the town clerk um, does not want it in there. So I just want clarification if the board wants it in or if you'd like me to take it out. Well, it to you. Uh, quest, well if, if it's work that was done in that department, it should be in the report. Maybe under total work done by the town clerk's office. If Marsha doesn't want it separated, that's fine, but it should still be in the report for that office. They're two I, separate. I agree, but they're two separate people, but never. Yeah, but I like mean, you said, it's, the work is being done, so it if, should be. If the clerk's office, you know, whether it's one person or a hundred people in there, just everything done that. in that office should be in the report. Am I right or am I wrong? I don't. No, I agree with that's you. That's my opinion. I just, <laughs> it, don't, just don't make it one person. Just make it generic. It's just yeah, yeah. generic. The clerk's office yeah. did X for the year, but I think both of their accomplishments and uh, it doesn't you know, necessarily have to go out over anyone's signature or right. I don't care who did what. The fact is, as long as everything got done and and the town is not in hot water anywhere, beautiful. Excellent. Good job. Thank you. That's all. Simple. I, I think both of everything should be in. Just don't put a name against it. Just yep. put. And, and I did tell Marsha that last Wednesday evening when I met with her. But that, I understand if you don't want them separate, but at least it should be in the report. So. 
my feeling. Do we, do we need to vote on that? Um, I, I would, unless Jen wants to make the final decision in her. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Good try. Okay. I'll make a motion. I, the only thing is there, there is some duplication in it. Um, and I think, I do agree that there are differences, but there is also duplication. I think it's we're putting a, a different position because obviously they're both running mm -hmm. for town clerk. Yep. This will be out after elections, so that makes me feel better. Um, but they do have differences. I mean, they talk about you know working with the assessor's office. So having it as the town clerk department, and then you have the town clerk and the assistant report. I don't have a problem with that, um, but I just don't want it to seem like there's favoritism being played. Well, right, and that's because why I want to just compile both and put no names. And we have to remember if we're putting in an assistant, and then another department wants to have an assistant put it in, like you know, we have to take this in like across the board. Yeah, but that's yeah. not what we're saying. We're saying no assistant, just the department. Period. As a whole, no. This one did this one. This one did that. No. The department did this. Unless as a whole. we combine them, as the report of that office. Well, that's right, and that's what, what I said saying. to do. Put no name on who did what. The yeah. the office in general did X for the year. Now there's no favoritism. Right? There's nobody. Nobody knows who did better mm -hmm. in one. So we're going to take the two reports and merge them as one, right. two names at the bottom. Take them, take out redundancies, you know. Mm -hmm. And then you can put the the town clerk and then the assistant town clerk. That's it. At the bottom, they can both sign it or whatever. And, yeah. I don't think they sign anymore. Oh, no. They don't sign anymore. No. no. That, that would be a hard years. copy. That doesn't exist. They used to sign. <laughs> they used to sign it. Yeah. Yeah. Just make it generic. There yeah. is no. Town clerk, combine the two. And then have the two employees. I know, like the Centennial Committee has everybody listed, and that's only because I write that one. Right on the end. So everybody, all the offices are there, and everyone. So I don't have a problem with that. I just don't want to, you yeah. know, say for instance our treasurer, and then the assistant says, you know, collector says, well, I want to put a report in. You know, I, I want to make sure that we're fair across all departments. Yep. It's one report, one department, two names on the bottom. Okay. I'm good with that. That's my motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Was that it? Yep. Okay. Uh, numbers for mm -hmm. Jennifer? Based on our meeting last week, where we motioned for the job description, the salary, the posting, the, all that good stuff, um, the town definitely is moving, and I think um, our contract is expiring with Mrs. Coffin, so that we need to do our due diligence legally. And um, Joe, did you do some research on that? <coughs> Get that information of what the legal motion would need to be so that the town is. I attempted to do that. Uh, I didn't uh, okay. give the. Uh, actually, my email. I, I did um, try to contact Barbara via yep. email, and it, it bounced back. And I didn't know if there was uh, uh, some type of restriction on the email address, but I, I do have the bounce back. I, I did think. It I just want to make sure that the motion is appropriate and legal yep. to cover the town. I guess that's the question. Because I know when delivery she's has failed uh, to these recipient uh, recipient groups or whatever. Do but you have it, her new email address at um, at Copeland and Page? You didn't send it to Petrini, did you? No, I sent it to uh, uh, P hyphen K law. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it, it, it got bounced, got bounced, but uh, so uh, I would like to. I don't know whatever channel we have to go through to to make that contact, but my two questions were, number one, in the event the town meeting votes to approve the town administrator's position on May 9th, wording for the notice 90 days prior 
of non-renewal of the employment uh, agreement with the town of Millville as it has with the uh, uh, executive secretary. I did ref reference in the contract uh, clause D, or, uh, section D, that requires the 90-day notice. And then uh, a suggestion for the wording of an interim agreement uh, for some interim period yet to be determined with the executive ser secretary in the event town meeting rejects uh, a, a town administrative position. Right. So we need two, two things. Mm -hmm. uh, the 90 day notice. When do you want to do the 90 day notice? Well, it has to be by March 30th. Okay, I got a problem with that. I got a problem with that whole thing. We don't have an administrator. We give her a notice. We put her on there. All of a sudden, deadline comes up. Still don't have an administrator. Her contract is expired. Well, that was then item we two. That was item two here. To to come up with some type of an agreement, an inter an interim agreement uh, for some interim period yet to be determined with the executive secretary in the event. Town meeting rejects the town administrators. Right, so basically what you're saying, we don't have a plan B in, in, intact yet. All we have is that right now, we'll give it 90 days. After that... Well, the contract's going to expire in 90 days. Right. So, I mean, so my point to the... The second thing? I'm, I haven't even given it any thought, to be honest okay. with you. My question to this is, if we give the notice, you want to do that... By March, the end of March, right? We have to, based on the contract. And if we don't? Then there could be legal ramifications on the town. Because I believe the contract, if it reads, does it read that it continues if no notice is given? It's continues for what? Excuse me, Paul. Let us talk about this, all right? So we, we could essentially be on the hook out if we don't give our appropriate notice, and then we could be paying a new person and having to pay. Yeah, but say we have nothing, oh. then what do we do? Well, I think by the search committee and their interviewing process, we would know, and then we could entertain other options if needed. Well, but I, if we don't do the 90, then we're gonna be on the hook after that. For what? Salary and money that we don't have budgeted. Well, so what, what we do? We have, then if we have nothing and she leaves, then we have nothing at all. I, I can't work like that. I'm not gonna leave this town high but and dry. We voted for all those things with the contingency of the person hopefully starting July 1st. That's an awful lot of hoping. I don't think so. I do, you got nothing, you got nothing. You got no, I don't see anything. I, I, I like to see something. I can't run a business like that hoping that somebody's there, but if the guy's not there and then Helen contract is up and she's gone, then what do we do? We have nothing. We have no, no secretary, no administrator, no nothing. The, the seats are empty. But we would know that prior to. You're not gonna come in July 1st and go, oh my God, no one's here. You're gonna know that and you're gonna be able to make provisions and make, you know, have conversations. Well, basically my understanding here is that uh, this board is in general agreement that we were going to follow the recommendations of the DLS report. And it had specific action items that were recommended. It's incumbent, I think, on this board to come up with that plan collectively, is with, with that plan. I understand that. When, if we did this, when would her last day be? Of that depends on part two. We'd have to negotiate with the executive secretary at that point. My point is, is I don't want to end up with nothing. Well, the DLS recommendation also says um, a part-time administrator with a full-time assistant. Yeah, but we don't even know that because we, we haven't sat down collectively to talk about what it's entailed in this whole process, right. and the amount of work, the, the, the hours involved, and that kind of thing. And it's, it's this board's responsibility as um, the policy makers for the town 
Exactly. It's and not to say, John, you can't give your 90 days and say, Mrs. Coffin, we might extend over that time. Would you be willing to stay on until we can, you know, be on? And that, I think well, you know what? That's Jennifer, the part, that's the with part that too said, there. With that said, and she agrees to that, now I feel more comfortable. I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing but there's two like he said there's two parts we have to we have to resolve the contract for the legal the legal piece of it and then the interim and the transition is another piece or extension or, or new contract for you know whatever or employment is is going to be a second piece if it's needed John listen we're not the only town who has ever had no executive secretary sitting in the front office for if, if worst case scenario worst case scenario happens i mean we towns have fired people and released people and didn't have people they've had interims is that's how mr jeffs came here they needed an interim he came here and he stayed for many years so i mean there's people out there that that's their job they come in and they fill in the interim that is worst case scenario nobody wants that we want a smooth transition to our new well, I administrator think, i personally don't think it's going but you do, I don't, no. you're willing to put the town on the dime for her contract if we don't give our 90 day. I don't want to leave the town high and dry with nothing. After but, her 90 days, if there's nobody in that slot, we have nothing in there. How does the town run? How do the bills get paid? There's nobody there. The seat is empty, both of them. But you can, if that, if that happens, if she says, no, I'm not interested in staying after June 30th if you need me, then we make provisions. I mean, we're, we're 100 days out or 120 days out, whatever we are. I think what we ought to do is do the 90 days, but also ask Mrs. Coffin, would she entertain an extension if it warranted and we, uh, and we need a help? At least we know where we stand. I think that was well, Joe's second piece of it. I understand that. But you still need to give that 90. And then his other question to the lawyers was the, uh, an agreement between well, if I'm going to give the 90, I want to make sure that other thing is, is at least yeah, all, entertaining. All we're asking for is the wording and the laws involved with this. To make sure the town And we need to happen. understand that before we speculate on anything. Well, we got to do it before the 30th. Mm -hmm. What's today? Oh, it's only the 7th. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm waiting. I mean, we have a few meetings in between now and then. Oh, I mean, we... Ahead of where we are. I mean, we have a budget review if we had to put it there. Um, you know, I mean... But we, my interest was only in, in you know, doing service to the town. Right. Okay. Well, oh, that's, oh, that's fine. I'm thinking. No, it has the two pieces in there. Yeah. No, I was, I was thinking, I'm nervous because I'm thinking this is our last March meeting tonight. It's only our first one. No. Sorry, I'm ahead of myself. We have the, what is it? I thought next week was the 30th. Then, then after April 4th? Yeah. It, Right. No, Mr. Mr. Chairman, the meeting following um, the one where town council came in that night, um, the next day I did forward to her a copy of my employment agreement for her to review, and I suggested she contact you directly to discuss any motions that need to be made. Would you like me to have her contact Mr. Raposa since he seems to be more? If, you, if you'd like. Okay. All right. Well, so I will let her know. I haven't received Maybe you any. could include Joe in that email so that he has her email? Yes, I will do that. Yep. That's all I'm looking for. Hmm? When, oh, I'd uh, like to hear from the lawyer. Yeah, from that. Well, that's what before. Joe was no, trying to I, do, I contact the lawyer. I should call you, but... That's fine with me. Just... The last time I talked to her was a couple of days before she came that day. Hmm. <coughs> all right. Okay. Well, there's no motions tonight. This would, we need to... Yeah, we need the lawyers. So we need the proper wording of it. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. So um, that's, that's tabled, hopefully, only till the next meeting. So um, it's not on here, but um, since I've got the floor, we did get an email from Tara Larkin, who's our school committee member. Did you receive that in regards to the out of district placement in the funds? Mm -hmm. and and questioning yeah. skin so i i did you i did not respond okay because no i did i re, i re, okay because I, I didn't have the all the correct answers i referred her to uh, contact 
the senator and representative. So, yeah. Kevin Kuros, uh returned the email to her and she copied it. Uh, okay. She forwarded it to me and he okay. sent her a, quite a lengthy explanation okay. of all the different things that have been in the works, but nothing has been. You know, all right. I just wanted to make sure that the every year more things get. No, I know. And they plug in and try, but if it. Mm -hmm. I, I did because you know this isn't the only district that doesn't get you know whether the kids are in Boston or they're in Millville, mm -hmm. uh, it's the same curriculum, the same cost of living, basically. Uh, yeah, it, why why certain kids are in the cost to educate <laughs> students? You know, I, I looked at all the uh, vocational technical schools. Mm. You know, they all. Their, their uh, per pupil spending is all about the same. It ranges from 17.8 to 19 something. The right. one exception is uh, uh, the Norfolk School, and that's like 22k. Well, the some of their equipment is a little more expensive. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. Um, Right, but the academic reimbursement per child is 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 horribly different. I just wanted to make sure that her question was answered. And yeah, I'll, yeah, I didn't. Many I, many levels of it, and yeah, as long as that's been answered, that's all I had. Yep. So I yeah. So she did contact uh, Representative Girls, and he gave her a pretty lengthy uh, answer pretty quickly too. So. Okay. I can forward it, his reply, just so everybody knows what's been going on up there. Fine with that. Sure. All right. Uh, so our next regular meeting is March 21st. Um, was at 7. Now it's going to be at 6 p.m. And uh, then we're going to do signatures next, and then we will adjourn immediately following. Thank you for coming. So did you say we're 6 o'clock next time on the 21st? The 21st is, is now going to be oh, budgets and then we're 6, okay. yep, okay. for the budget stuff. I didn't put that one in. Joe, are you, from, just a quick question, very familiar with the formula for the Chapter 70 reimbursement? I'm not all that familiar. I tried to, to get familiar. I, I knew they were looking to um, change and or update the formula years ago. And when um, Superintendent Himmelberger stopped in last week, I asked him if that ever happened, and he said no, they never did change it. Um, and it just sparked a concern with me because I know one of the items that the Finance Committee has talked about right. was that the town's values are low. Yeah. And probably five or seven years ago, we, we kind of got hit pretty bad. Um, and we were told our values were too high. Um, so we went in and we really did a, a new valuation and focused on the values. So a lot of those values decreased um, because in the back of our minds, we were, we were told that our values were too high and Millville was oh, made out to look one. like a rich town. Oh, I missed one. So I just question if um, if the town's goals are to raise the values that could in turn decrease our Chapter 70 reimbursement. I, I don't know if that's still the case, if that's the way the formula will work, but I just caution you to that. You know, a follow up on it. Yeah. Because I, I don't know all the components. I one one time I did ask Mike Buckley to explain that to me. Yeah, more. it's very convoluted. I know that. Ryan Chamberlain is running for school committee, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Ryan Chamberlain is running for school committee. Oh, he's just. School he's committee? He's the Republican State Committee man. Yeah, but I th saw mm -hmm. the sign on 122 Chamberlain for school committee. 
State Committee. State Committee? State for the uh, Republican uh, State Committee. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Aye.